So have your block candy. We're gonna pick it up pretty early on. But for now, let's just take a couple of deep breaths together. So start with your feet hip distance apart. Already start to do this gentle tuck of the tail so we're not kind of just arched. We're gonna engage the core, draw the ribs inward, shine the heart open. Roll the shoulders a couple times, loosening any tension in the shoulders or any kinks in the neck by just kind of rolling it out a few times. Let's bring the palms forward. One more little roll here and we'll take some big shrugs of the shoulders. Spread your toes, anchor yourself down, big circles backwards, big circles forward like you're gathering something and dropping it off in the front body. Good, this time dropping all the way over for a forward bend. Let the head and neck just hang. Shake it out, no, yes. Bend the knees one and, and then the other. See if you can create some space in the hamstrings, some length, maybe some cat-cow movements while you're in your forward fold, pushing the earth away or using fingertips. And then we'll grab the opposite elbow and sway a little bit. It can be vigorous, it can be subtle, whatever feels good for you, maybe big half circles getting into the sides of the body and then settling down to center. Let the hands fall, soften the knees, we'll take a rag doll up, stacking the vertebrae and again a little shrug in those shoulders, maybe one at a time. This is silver. <laughs> and circle forward. All right, so let's wake up those legs before we take all the mat work. Grab your block. If you don't have a block today, you could just grab a pillow or you could do it without anything at all. So we're gonna start by firmly pressing our palms into the block. It's gonna be a pretty deep wrist stretch. Pushing right in here. Walk the feet about hip distance. I'll turn sideways, draw the belly in and we'll take a squat. And then we'll come up onto the toes. Good, sit in your chair, press into the blocks. Exhale into the toes. Two more like that, inhale, balance, exhale. Inhale, heels, exhale, toes. Now we're gonna turn the block forward. Palms are gonna go towards each other like you're clapping and we'll push it out. Into the chest, when you come onto the toes, press the block, chest height, balance. Inhale. Exhale, inhale, exhale, fire the quads, the core, feel the quads and the hamstrings and the glutes, push away, two more here, inhale, exhale, building heat, hold it here for balance, bend the knees, good, push into your block, draw the shoulder blades back, highest heels for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, now sit in your chair, bring the palms to heart center and pump again. Eight, pick up your toes here, six, five, four, three, two, one, half fold, send the block out, deep squat, send the block in. Exhale, half fold, and inhale, sit deep. Push away, pull it in, two more, inhale out, exhale in, and press it out. Take the block to the ground and then lift the left arm. So right hand presses down, gentle twist of the spine. Get some height here if you're more flexible, lower the block down and switch. Left hand presses down, right arm twist. Try and keep the right hip from raising. With your twist, drop back down to neutral. Inhale and exhale. Take your block, rag doll up the spine. Come on forward. We'll take our toes outward, 45 degrees. Push the block in like we did before. And we're gonna do that same move with a plie. Into the chest, forward pressing the blocks like you're trying to smash it. Inhale, exhale. Inhale, exhale. Four, squeeze the glutes and the inner thighs on the way up. Here's your two and one. Stay down and pulse it here. Maybe widen your legs so the feet are under the knees. Keep squeezing the block towards one another like you're trying to smash it. Push the shoulders away from the ears. Pulse it. Eight more. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Hold it here. Toss it to one hand. Switch. Down. Out of bounce. 
eight, seven, exhale here, six, and five, and four, three, how are those legs already burning, two, and one, nice. We're gonna take it into the right hand, or if you're mirroring me, it doesn't matter, <laughs> just pick a hand. And we're gonna take it forward, round the spine, and then switch. So round the spine, and then open the heart. Round the spine, open the chest. Inhale, feel the belly, draw back. <sighs> Exhale, straighten the spine. Round and stack. Four, <sighs> three, stay nice and deep. Here's two, round and straighten, one, Round and straighten, bring it back in. One heel, raise the other. For four more, three, two, one. Can we get both up? Burn, pull those heels up, push the block forward. Eight, seven, six, as low as you can. Four, three, two, shake in. One, heels down, lift it up. Forward fold, turn the toes forward or slightly in. Drop the head towards your block. Take some big breaths here. Good. Ragdoll it up with your block. All right. So we're going to keep that same stance and we're going to add some lunges from side to side. Sit deep in your plie. Push the blocks against one another, your hands pressing in, and then pick a side to rotate to. Center. Rotate. That back knee can hit the mat or just hover above. Over. Center. Twist. Center, knees wide, knees 90-90. Wide, 90-90. Draw the belly in, twist. Okay, feeling those legs. One more time, stay here. Pulse this, eight, seven, six, five, four, three. You'll get to rest on the back knee, all right? Take a stretch here. You can put the block down. Flex the front toes. Oh, lost you for a second. Flex the front toes, shine the heart forward. You can press into your block. Bend and straighten a little bit. Whew. All right, find some ease because we're going back into the lunge. Low lunge, hand on the block in the back. Half split, low lunge, half split. One more time, inhale, exhale. Step back on the front foot. Grab your block. We'll practice it on the knees. Knee to that forward hip. So I'm on my right leg. I'm gonna twist towards my right. All right, so starting easy. And then when you're ready, if you're ready, come off the back knee. Eight, seven, six, five, hover, four, three, twist, two, twist, one. Hold it there, expand. Block is in your back hand, and we're gonna pulse. Now, to make this a little more challenging, if you're up for it, lift the front heel as well. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Come back to center out of those legs. Forward fold to rest in the middle. Head towards block. If you need to put it higher, maybe even bring your forehead towards the block or on it. Shimmy those hips a little bit side to side. Open the toes, grab the block again. Push it out. All right, we're going the other way. We're gonna take it to your lunge. Pulse this lunge for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. Let's lower down, hold, good. And then we'll just take a stretch here. So we'll take the hips forward, the block goes into your, the back towards that left hip, and then back to half split. Spend some time here stretching, moving, through low lunge to half split to low lunge, loosening up through the hip flexor, the quad, get the chest opens, take some breaths wherever you're feeling sticky, hold your low lunge, grab your block. All right, so we'll start it modified, tuck your back toes under, push the weight out, twist to the back, find center. So towards the hip that the knee is forward. And Twist it out, four, three, and then when you're ready, we're gonna pick up the back knee and continue. Hovering, eight, seven, six, static hold, breathe out, four, and three, here's your two, hold it on one. Slip it to the back hand and spread your wings. 
pull the arms in opposition. Good, to make this more challenging, we're gonna come off the front heel. If you don't need it, skip it. Eight pulses, seven, six, belly to spine. Here's your four, three, two, one. Bring it back. How'd we do? Come back in. Oh, my legs. Shimmy those hips from side to side. Use your body like a pendulum. Swing it over. All right, nice work. We're gonna take it into a little half moon series. Take the block into your right hand. Turn your right toes to the right. We're gonna cartwheel the hands other way and then down. Soften the knee to take off. So if you can hover, let's just practice hovering. If you wanna rest on the block, you can rest on the block. All right, spin the, the chest open, stack the shoulders and hips. Little leg raises, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Knee tucks, eight, seven, use the core obliques, six, five, four, we got this, three, here's two, mat work coming up, one, hold it, and then just tap and lower for four, lift, three, squeeze that side body obliques, two, pull it back through, nice and controlled, all the way down, and all the way back, switch sides, so we're gonna circle those arms, in opposition, turn your left toes, place that block down, or maybe you can balance without it touching in a hovering shape. Stack, breathe, good, pull the arms apart, flex out the back toes, pull the belly in, and you can just put the block down, soften the standing knee, we'll just do these leg raises to start, eight, seven, six, five, squeeze the glutes, four, three, two, one, send the arm over, now tap the knee in, eight, seven, six, five, it's okay to fall out of it, four, three, two, hold it in, one, pull it back, now as slow and controlled as you can, we'll come up to standing for four, slowly come back, controlling each direction on the way up, Three, and on the way down. Three, two more. Squeeze and balance. And last one. Hold and balance. Find your stacked half moon, and then draw it up. Are you feeling those obliques? Pull it back in. Put the weight, uh, weight, the block aside. Take the hands and wrap your elbows, your opposite elbow. Pull the heart through, cat cow. Standing, and then we'll take a couple of sideways leans for the stretch and other way. Stretch it out. Soften the knees, and we'll take circles. Full range one way, and then full circle the other way. Just to find some ease, other way. One more time. And stand tall, and then rotate, and stand tall. Push the palms down through water. All right, we're ready to sit. We'll do lots of mat work. That was our standing series. All right, let's take it um, to the back of the mat and we'll start the way we usually do to get to planks and all fours. So we'll start with this Pilates spinal roll, articulating down to forward fold and then walking yourself out to plank. Spread your fingers, bring the shoulders over the fingertips, tuck the tailbone, firm the belly, push the shoulders in protraction really strong plank, and then tap the knees down. Four, tap down, three, exhale for two into the fingertips, onto the knees, into the fingertips for one. Walk your way back. When you get back, before you roll, let's flip the back of the hands down and wiggle the fingers. A little compression into the top of the hands. Drop the head and shake it out. Just prepping for some weight bearing on the wrist now, but we're gonna keep the body nice and active so it doesn't affect the wrist. And we only feel strong here. Circle the wrists both directions, ragdoll yourself up to standing, perfect posture. Tuck the chin, ragdoll it over. 
and then walk your plank. Good, spread your fingers, index finger forward, wrap the triceps by pulling the crease of the elbows to the top of the mat, push the shoulders down, tuck the tail, pelvis neutral, belly, pugs in, quads are on, and again, down. This time when we pop up, we're gonna hamstring curl. Tap the knees, other knee, tuck, tap, tuck, tap, tuck. You can flex or point, doesn't matter. Just hover or tap the floor and then hamstring curl, heel to butt. Tap the floor, heel to butt, tap the floor, heel to butt. Find your plank, knees down, child's pose. Again, you can circle the wrists while you're here. You can take some moments to shimmy the hips. Maybe a quick side stretch, big breath in and out. Across the mat, big breath in and out. Come back to center. Take a moment and then bring it forward. So we're gonna rock to modified child's, uh, child's pose to modified plank, all right? So bring the hips with you, push the shoulders down, shine the heart forward, draw it back. Shine it forward, pull it back, all right? Round it and then find your modified plank. We're gonna swing the hips through, soften the elbows for four. Soften the elbows, little baby cobra, opening up the chest, gentle back bend. Two more little triceps engaging as well. So it's like a push up, but we're also doing a gentle back bend. Land the hips if you can, lower and then squeeze it back through to child's pose. Take a moment here. We're gonna add some of those hamstring curls in knees, chest, chin. Does that make sense? So let's try it. You'll see, we'll take the, the body forward. And as you take knees, chest, chin, we're gonna curl one heel in, come back through. As you take knees, chest, chin, you can curl both and pull back. So lift the right foot off the ground, hug both knees in, make a little like stag-like shape. Ooh, feel those hamstrings. Take it forward, hug the heels towards the butt. Right knee lifts, both heels hug. Left knee lifts, both heels hug, elbows hit ribs. Come down, stretch it back. Bring your elbows, let's bring our elbows onto the block. Hands over the head. Shimmy the hips. Take a moment here and then look forward. Take a rag doll up. All right, we're gonna work some more plank. Take your block and set it under your left hand, okay? So we're gonna spread our fingers, and we're gonna come up to an uneven plank. Push the shoulders down, lift yourself up. See if you can take the hand, that the back hand that's not on the block, tap your shoulder, swing it out. Bring it down, and then open into side plank. Okay, that's the move we're gonna do a few more times. Left hand on block, right hand touches left shoulder. Right hand extends, bring it down on the mat, Twist to side plank. Scoop the belly in. Hand on block, opposite hand, tap shoulder. Stretch it out, single-handed plank into side plank last time. Hand on block, hand to shoulder. Stretch it out, single-handed plank, and then side plank. Hold it, push the earth away, lift the hips a little higher, and then modify your side plank by lowering onto the knee. So we're gonna take it into this hip open, this hip flexor stretch by pushing the hips forward, spinning the heart open. Now, bring the hips back, sit on the heel, and then charge this leg into abduction. So it's gonna look like shooting it out. So like we're gathering up momentum or spring and then charging. Sit back, charge out. Press the shoulder down, engage the core. Four, spring. Three, spring it up. Here's two, elbow can bend and straighten, knee bends and extend. Now draw this line, flex the heel back, point the toe forward through water. Inhale, heel towards glute. Exhale, push away. Inhale, swim back. Exhale, press out. All right, bring that foot back, and we're gonna bring it a little bit diagonal and just stretch in a sideways lunge. 
bring the hips sideways and back. Sideways, little lateral, kind of diagonal 45 degree movement to stretch. Good. A few more. Scoop it in. Sink into it. One more time. Inhale and straighten out. All right. We're going to take, we'll come back and make it a little more challenging on that star movement off of the knee. But for now, let's do the other side. So I'm just going to turn my body so you can see better. This time my right hand is going to go onto the block and my left hand is going to be on the mat. I'm going to step into a plank. Bringing your weight into the block, left hand to right shoulder. You can widen your stance to make this a little more accessible, a little easier. Stretch the left arm out, shoulder presses down. Bring the hand to the mat, open into side plank. Right hand on block, tap your shoulder, reach it out, ear towards uh, to bicep, and then hand down, spin it open, hips up. Really strong shoulder engagement, core engagement, scoop it up, tap your shoulder, stretch it out, hand down, spin to side plank, hand down to block, lift your body up, tap your shoulder, reach it out, hand All down. Right, grab we some light more. dumbbells let's and let's have hand a seat on the mat. To shoulder, stretch it out, hand down to side plank. Big stretch here, circle out the wrist. Good, and we'll modify the side plank by bringing the knee under the hip and then trying to spin this right hip open for this nice side body stretch and hip flexor. Good, opens up, send the hips forward. So we're gonna sit back onto the heel, butt to heel, and then we'll spring forward like we're loading up this movement. Back, charge, feel the abductor muscles obliques. Sit back, charge it up. Sit back on the heel and then spring for three, for two, charge it up and one. Hold it up. Heel to butt. Exhale, push through water. Inhale, hamstring curl. Exhale, use the core and the quad to push forward. Inhale, heel back. Exhale one more time. Heel back, press forward through water, <sighs> exhale, bring it down, good. Now pull the body up, turn your toes 45 degrees angled. This foot, that's the knee that's down, you could even turn that foot a little bit angled. So we have two, like you're in a 45 degree line. Stretch it over, squeeze it up. Sink into that lateral lunge, zip it up. Hands are wherever you want them to be, maybe just on the hips. For three, zip it up. For two, straighten, and one. This feels really good. And then come back in. All right, come on to the knees. We're gonna come back to that movement, um, make that a little bit harder, but for right now, sit on the knees. That pelvic tilt action, engaging your quads and hip flexors. Let's, let's hold the block. I'll turn sideways. So we're gonna push the block out in front of you and then pelvic tilt. Use the core, suck it in. <sighs> Sit it down. <sighs> suck it in. <sighs> Four. <sighs> Three, this is a hard movement. It can be faked very easily to be easy, but if you're doing it right, you'll feel the quads on fire, the core really active. We're gonna try to pulse this for eight, seven, six, Five, big pelvic tilt. Here's your three and your two. One, oh my. All right, coming into your 90-90 or mermaid shape. We'll take one foot parallel to the top of the, the side of the mat and then the other foot parallel to the end. And then just shimmy until we feel like we can stretch your external rotation and your internal rotation. So maybe you're rocking back and forth from sit bone to sit bone to settle those hips. We're gonna spin towards the knee that's forward. So the hip that's forward if you were doing pigeon and then spin your hands sideways. Feel this twist as you press the shoulders to this neutral squared position. We're gonna add some push-ups here, all right? So lean forward, bend the elbows, straighten, bend, Straighten. 
So it's not too much weight. You can make it as challenging as you'd like by really pressing weight into the hands, or you can make it easier by not, by staying stronger in the legs. So let's just do a few more, and then we'll add a leg lift on that outside leg. That's an internal rotation. When you dip to this knee, chest, chin, lift the leg. It's gonna feel a little awkward. You could even have your block down, try and tap your block, straighten. All right, so leg lift, bend the elbows towards the rib cage for four, three, two, lift that leg as high as you can, one. Now lift the arms, walk them out, and then just tap the knee. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Nice work. All right, other side. Settle into your little 90, 90, it's more like a 45 degree. Settle into the hips, rock back and forth. Take some nice breaths here. We have this hip internally rotated, that front one externally rotated, and we're just trying to settle. So if you have tight hips, you might not be able to get both sit bones down and both knees down, that's fine, stay where you are. When you're ready, we'll twist over. So you're gonna twist until you're rotating the shoulders so they are square to the top of the mat. And then when you're ready, we'll start to dip the elbows towards the ribs, push away. Draw the belly in, press away. So you can make this as hard as you like by really pushing weight into the arms and the upper body. Four, if you like to have the block there, you can put it there and something to aim for, head, but don't drop the block, the head lower, just to reach so the whole chest and the head go down as a unit, bend. All right, take a moment. This time we're gonna add the abduction of that back leg. So take a moment, maybe you need to circle the wrists, give them a little twist, here we go. When we lower down, we lift the knee off the mat, feeling your gluteus medius, the external part of the glutes engage, and <laughs> <laughs> and lower and lift lower squeeze that outer thigh squeeze the booty draw the belly in for three exhale for two here we go one this one we stay down hold squeeze that leg up now straighten out the arms try and keep the knee off the mat and then tap it up for eight seven hamstrings cramping five four high silver three two, squeeze it up, one, bring it down. Oh yeah, let's straighten out the legs to get a nice hamstring stretch. Forward fold, bend and straighten a few times. <sighs> All right, we're gonna go back to that movement with the block in plank. All right, so go ahead and bring those feet behind you. Left hand sets up on the block, right hand on the mat. We'll move a little quicker. Shoulder tap, extend side plank, hand on block, shoulder tap, extend, side plank, up on the block, shoulder, extend, side plank. Now, your side plank is gonna be the loaded one that we pull the hips down, and we're gonna try to spring up to a star. Spring it open. Hips down, spring it up. If this feels challenging, you can do a, another set like we did before with the bottom knee down. Let's try three more. Footsteps in front. We send the hips towards the mat. We can even bounce and hover here. And then charge it up, two. Bounce and hover. And then charge it up, one. Maybe you hold a moment. Good. Come back. Let's lower to the forearm. And then send that block away. Come down to forearms. Whew, breathe here. How'd that feel? Take your saw. That just means we're gonna move forward onto the toes and then towards the ball of the foot for four, three, two, one, tiptoe to dolphin, hips up, lean into the forearms, walk back to forearm plank, tuck the tailbone, squeeze the belly, walk tiptoe up, see if you can get the hips over the shoulders without bringing the head towards the mat, it's very hard, a lot of work on those shoulders. Lower down, take a rest. I need a towel, I'm sweaty. 
Breathe here. All right, one more time. We're gonna try that dolphin with some leg lifts. And if you're just like, this is too much, you can always take a break. Listen to your body. Tuck the toes, push the shoulders down, zip up the belly, crawl forward. You can keep your hands in a bind or you can flatten your palms or grab onto your block. Lift a leg, draw it up. Come down, lift the other leg. Squeeze, come down. Up to you whether you wanna take a couple of hops here, hop, or it could just be a glute squeeze couple of times. Okay, we're going to finish up to this leg. Maybe some hops and some leg lifts. Squeeze, 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 and crawl down. Send it back. Child's pose. <laughs> you need some water. Now is a good time. Or some to uh, towel off. Whew. Okay. So circle out those wrists. We're gonna do the same series on the other side. Circle out the neck a little bit. Let's open the chest. Bring your hands into a bind. Squeeze the shoulders back, heart forward. Maybe fists reach mat. <sighs> Neutral, fists reach mat. Heart to sky, exhale. Crisscross, Whew. circle the shoulders. <sighs> circle them. All right, let's go again. I'm gonna flip sides. My right hand is gonna go on the block, my left arm behind. Step your body up to plank. Tap your right shoulder, expand, hand down, side plank. Hand to block, tap the shoulder, expand, and then open side plank. Hand to block, left hand to shoulder, stretch, single hand plank, side plank, last one, hand to block, zip up, stretch forward, hand down, Side plank, loaded side plank to star. That top foot can step a little bit in. We dip and then we try to charge up and step on the bottom foot. Dip, charge. You might fall back, just do the best you can. Find a place where it's comfortable. You might even bend the knees a little bit more and then charge up. Bend, charge. Practice that movement. It's like a loaded side plank to star one more time. Maybe you catch a moment and you hold it and you push the shoulder down, squeeze, squeeze, squeeze. Come on back, bring it on down. All right, circle out those wrists. We can take a child's pose again. Rock the head from side to side. All right, we won't go back to shoulder work. I'm gonna give you a nice spinal twist stretch and some leg lifts there. So. From here, take a big breath into the back body, and then come onto all fours. Set your hands up under your wrists, your knees under your hips. We're gonna try to twist. Pick up whatever arm, I'm using my right, and I'm gonna try to twist, reach for the sky, come down. I'm gonna twist open, and then come back down. Inhale. Exhale, and release. One more time, twist, push against that bottom arm, squeeze the belly in, rotate. All right, come down. This time, I'm gonna thread my arm into a spinal twist, reach it up, reach it under. Drop the side of the face and the shoulder onto the mat. Now, the left hand or this top hand is gonna press down my bottom hand is also going to press down into the mat. So kind of an awkward angle to show you, but we're going to try to extend that bottom leg and then ever so carefully lift and pulse it up. Really press into the shoulder. It's definitely a strong balance. You need core. So be safe. Go slow. Leg lift. Now think of arabesque. Knee open and pulse the knee up and down for eight more. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Bring it down. Unwind. You can open it up one more time. 
Circle out that wrist, circle the shoulder, and then bring it down. So the other arm's gonna open, and I'm gonna thread it under. Bring the shoulder inside of the head, maybe even the face, towards the mat. The top hand is gonna actively spread those fingers, press down, and then the bottom hand rotates under so you have both hands supporting this. Stretch the toes back, subtle leg lifts, grip the mat with your fingers, pull the belly in, feel the glutes and hamstrings. Slow, subtle movement so you can hold the balance. You have to turn the core on or you'll roll onto your back. Three, two, one. Now turn it into more of an like arabesque. Hug the heel in and then the knees just lifts and lowers for eight more. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Bring that knee down, unwind, press into the hand, twist, and then come on down. Nice work. Circle the shoulder a few times. Circle, wind it up, and let's have a seat. Flip on over. All right, we're gonna take our block with us. We're gonna sit, let's take a forward fold and then we'll get started with all the work on the back side of the back, or laying on the back for the core. Lift up nice and tall, shrug the shoulders and then let them fall and then exhale, take a forward fold. Wherever that is in your body, if you are pretty flexible, you could take a block over the feet, push the feet into the block, and then pull the upper body down. <sighs> Straighten out the spine, bring the body up. Pressing into the block like we did at the beginning of the class, all we're going to do is bring it from hip to hip in your staff pose. Eight, seven, six, five, four, Three, two, one. Bend the knees, place the block in between the knees. Bring your fingertips or palms down, shine the heart up, lift the legs. Same movement, but now the lower body is gonna rotate from side to side. Lift, inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale. Twist, squeeze those inner thighs to keep the block in those legs. We'll do four more here. Here's four, zip it up, three, zip it up, two, and one. Hold the block in the knees. Can we release the arms forward? Tap the toes, stretch them out. So either stay in this halfway, this half boat, or extend to straight. Inhale, exhale, two, press it up, one, press it up. Grab the block, tap the toes. Tap your quad, find low boat. Ooh, stretch it up to high. Tap your toes. Tap your quad. Exhale, inhale, exhale, inhale. Here's two, thighs press down and one. Now hold it down. Hollow out through the body, lower the sacrum down. Shake out the head, curl, curl, curl. Rock it for four, three, two. Stay up on one. Hold it here. Forward fold. Shimmy those hips. Soften through the hip flexors. Maybe even massage them out. They're working pretty hard for us on all of those moves. Good. Circle out the wrists a little bit. You can take a gentle twist. All right. Next thing we're going to do is make some circles with the upper body. So let's take our block again, like you're clapping or trying to smash it in between the arms. Bend the knees in, about hip width apart, lean back. So we're gonna start to spin back, spin forward. Think of making a small circle all the way back and around. Does that make sense? So we're twisting, reaching back, twisting, Coming back, try one more. Just do the best you can to twist, lean, twist, come back through center. Other way, elbows can be out. So think of making a complete circle. Twist, maybe the elbow lands, and then the other elbow, and then we pull back, circle to center. So that might help you twist, tap the elbow, tap the elbow, shh, 
twist, come back. One more time, twist, tap the elbow, tap the elbow, tap the elbow here. All right, let's try that. Let's try tapping on all four corners. So we'll tap inside to the back, to the back, to the twist. Center, one more that way. Tap forward, tap back, elbow back, elbow in, center. Other direction, twist, tap your elbow to the front, to the back, to the back, to the front. One more time. Twist, lean forward, lean back, lean back, lean forward, come back to center. Bring the block in between the legs. Scoop forward so you have space on your mat. Try and bring your belly or your chest to the block, whether that's on a higher setting or deeper. And let's do our Pilates roll. Again, this time let's grip the, the block with our fingers. So we're gonna clench onto it, gripping it. Straighten out the spine. Hollow through the front body, suck the belly in, and then lower down vertebrae by vertebrae. Your quads are active. We're gonna lower down, head rest. Gaze up at your block right over the face. Keep that neutral spine. Tuck the hips towards the ribs and the ribs towards the hips. Exhale, tuck the chin. Look at your block. Imagine someone's helping you by pulling it up for you. Stack and then fold. Round up again. Lift up to stack spine. Shake out that head. Draw the belly in. Lower down. Three, two, one. Head heavy. Keep your neutral spine. We'll come out of it on the next one. Exhale, tuck the chin, peel the shoulder blades, roll off the spine, stack, and fold. Exhale, this time we'll stay down and we'll come out of neutral. So lift up, scoop forward, make sure you have space behind you. Hollow out through the front body, round. Lower down, vertebrae by vertebrae, tuck the pelvis under, and then slow roll. This time the block can go over the head and you can just arch and wiggle the back. Come into neutral, bring the arms over the head. So we're just gonna come up a few inches, peel the shoulders, and then lower down. Two more, just like a very half curl, lifting the shoulder blades off the mat, coming to the low back. Curl halfway, and back one more time. Curl halfway, hold, and lower down. Nice. Bring the block and the hips, stack. Come back, other way. Bring the block, and then the hips, stack, come back. Twist, the block can land, and then the body will turn. Scissor, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Come back over. Stack the block over. Bring the hips and squeeze everything up. Scissor kicks, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Bring it back, roll onto your back. Bring the block in between your knees and then find your knees at 90 degrees, palms out. Lower the sacrum into the mat, so really shift the pelvis forward and then knees drop, knees lift. Inhale, drop, exhale, lift. Nice, knee drops over. Exhale, squeeze in, knees drop over, exhale. If that felt easy, straighten the legs. You could even bring the blocks into the feet, makes it a little bit more challenging. Drop it over, bring it up to center. Drop it over, keep the shoulder blades grounded. Exhale, lift one more time each way. Inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale, pass the block into the hands, low boat, into the feet, low boat, into the hands, into the feet, one more pass, into the hands, open, into the feet, and open, pull back. All right, we're gonna take, we're gonna try to do this spinal balance. So if your hamstrings are tight, you might look more like this. We're gonna see if we can Take same side, leg and arm out, leg and arm in. Same side, leg and arm out, leg and arm in. Inhale, low, ground the sacrum down, pull it in. Ground the sacrum down, pull it in. Can we try opposite? Little brain teaser, right leg, left arm, ground the sacrum, 
pull it in. Left leg, right arm, ground the sacrum, pull it in. This time we're gonna work laterally. Open the left leg to the side and the right arm to the side. Zip it to center. Right leg, left arm, lateral, stretch. Zip it to center. Side, right arm, left leg, push the block into the toes. Last time, left arm, right leg, pull it apart, zip it back in. All right, open the legs, close them, hold your block just right over the chest like you're clapping it right in and smushing it. So we'll flex, point, flex, point for four, <sighs> inner thighs three, point, flex two, and one. Now scissor, scissor, scissor. Raise the arms up for eight. Ground down through the sacrum. <sighs> Little forced exhales for four, and three, and two, and one. Legs down, cave the knees in, drop the block. Take some breaths here, wash the knees side to side. Take the right leg up and bring the block to the hamstring. Give it a little massage. Extend, expand the left leg into an L. See how much you can open through the hamstring. If, even if you need to keep the knee bent, I'm gonna try to push it straight. And then bend the elbows, think of this as a bicep curl. Peel the neck, the head, the shoulder blades, and then hold this L shape. Bicep curl, hug the elbows in, draw the belly in, shake the head out. Bottom leg lifts and lowers. Just a few times here. Lift and lower, hold. Now push the block away. Three, pull it in, push it out. Two, pull it in, push it out. One, figure eight. Grab under, grab under. Pull the legs in that position. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, Two, hold it on the left, lower the head, lower the foot. Shake out the neck from side to side. Ear to mat, ear to mat. When you're ready to start focusing on the hamstring, maybe massage that block right into the hamstring as you push some energy into the block and the hamstring right back. So using the arms. Now tuck the chin, pull the legs away, tuck the chin, make a sharp L, hug the elbows in, bicep curl, arm strength. Pull the legs apart, top, bottom leg clicks up and down a few times. Inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale. Now, trying to keep this position, push the block away for three. Exhale, sharp, two. Inhale, exhale, sharp, one. Hold, figure eight. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Knees in and long, tuck, push away, full tuck, press away, two more, inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale, lower the feet, lower the head, shake the head out from side to side. All right, some bridge work. We'll come back to a little bit more belly, but let's go ahead, and for the first set, we'll squeeze the block in between the legs, second set, we'll step on the block, all right? So, find your Neutral spine, ribs to belly, gentle tuck, shake out the head, shoulders down. All right, feet or hip width, spread your toes into the mat. Start with a pelvic tilt, just start to tuck at the bottom. Pull the hips into a pelvic tilt. So it's very subtle, doesn't really look like I'm doing much. Coming from neutral to tucking and tilting. Three, two, turning my quads on, squeezing my inner thighs to hug the block. Now keep going, lift, melt down. Think of your spine as a string of pearls and we're gonna lower and then I'm gonna peel off. Peel, lower down, peel, lift up. Two more, lower, two, lift, two, articulate. Really use control and then lift. Now I can wiggle my shoulders a little closer together to get a little bit more space for the hips and the heart. And then I'm gonna come onto tiptoes to make this even harder and pulse eight. Let the glutes fall and then zip them up. Six, five, four, three, two. Feeling my hamstrings, little tilt. Weight into one foot. Weight into the other foot. You can even lift, lift, rock, rock. 
four, three, two, one, lower, down. Nice work. Let those feet flop up. Circle the ankles and circle the other way. Straighten the legs. Put the block down. This time, we're gonna step on it. So get yourself nice and close. Same movement, peel off. Now we have more range of motion. Lift here, lower down like a string of pearls. Peel off, lower down, peel off. Let's make this harder by doing single legs. Lift the, le the right leg up, lower down. Exhale up, lower down. Squeeze it up. Two more like that. Exhale, push into that supporting leg. Feel that left hamstring lift. Pulse, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, pigeon cross, figure four. Hold it up. Feel the external rotation on the right hip. Squeeze everything to the sky. Hold, puff up through the chest. And then lower down slowly. Can we hug that left knee in and feel that intense stretch on the right hip? All right, we're gonna peel the upper body off and then take these figure four pigeon pulses for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, we breathing, one, hold it up, lower it down. Both feet onto the block. Lift and lower one time here. And lower down. Now hold it up. And we'll lift the left leg off. Maybe wiggle the shoulders for a little more space. Send the left leg up. Lower down. We have four here. Push. And here's three. Peel it up. Here's two. Squeeze. And then we stay up on one. And we pulse for eight, seven, Six, five, four, three, two, cross the ankle. Find your figure four pigeon, upside down pigeon stretch. Push the hips up, allow the knee to open by externally rotating the hip. Squeeze everything up, lift. Isometric hold, lower down. Pick up the bottom foot. Use your right quad to hug the knee in. Get a deeper stretch through the hip. When you're ready, crunch it up. Open, close. Inhale, exhale. Here, six, five, flex the feet, four, three, two, hold it up on one, hold it. Can we crunch a little bit tighter? Feel the stretch, feel the activation of the core, and release. Let the feet take a butterfly with the feet onto the block. Find some ease there. Shake the head out from side to side. Take the arms over the head. Breathe deeply. We're just gonna finish up with a little bit of crisscross movement. Let's take arms over the head, elbows to hips, moving through cactus arms. All right, take the block, place it into the hands, and then give yourself a nice pillow. Pull the knees to 90 and we get to crisscross. If you don't feel like you're pulling on the neck, you can tap your elbow to your knee, but if you feel like that restricts your straight spine and neck, then just keep the elbows wide. So see how it feels in your body. Here we go. Hold, and then we'll go. Eight, seven, six, five. We exhaling each one. Three, two, one. Hold it on the stride we started, and then extend the arm and leg like you're trying to make an X. Make your pillow. Switch, make an X, make your pillow, switch. Four more, three, two, come back to the side you started, and this time we'll go straight leg switches. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Feet up, head gets to rest. Bring the feet down, wash the knees from side to side. Ease through the hip flexors. Good, stretch the arms over the head. <laughs> Inhale and exhale. All right, last thing. 
We're gonna give ourselves room behind us and try to put the block behind us. So squeeze it in between the feet, bring the palms down. All right, see how this feels on the neck and the spine, only go as deep as it feels good in your body. Shoulders down, peel the hips off. Maybe you can tap the block down, straighten the legs, and then slow lower. Use that low belly, the triceps. Inhale, hold. Exhale, slow, 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 slow. Two more like that. We'll do some leg circles and we'll call it a day. And squeeze, slow, lower. One more time, inhale, tap the block over the head. Try not to move the neck around on this one. Exhale, slow, lower. Now corkscrew. We're gonna circle the legs one direction, three times. I wanna give myself a little more space. I'm gonna make a big circle. Circle and then reverse that. Bring it around as big as it feels okay in your body. So use the core to keep the back stabilized. Secure the um, grounding down through the sacrum. Spin and come back. Pull the block into the knees and let's roll like a ball to come out up for stretching. So put the block in between the knees. Momentum, balance. Gather up momentum, exhale, balance. Good, inhale and exhale. Oh my gosh, my cat is going crazy. All right, <laughs> I keep thinking of new things I wanna do. So I'm gonna try a couple rolling like a ball styles so we're gonna take the block into the hands and we're gonna try to take a pistol on the right foot. It'll look like this. Roll right foot down, see if you can drive onto the foot. And it's okay if it doesn't happen. Maybe you're struggling and you're here and you're still feeling the work happen. Let's do the right leg for two more. Rock, shift up, roll back, shift up. Get both feet up. Hold a V for three, roll it back, hold the V up for two, inhale, and one. And now the left foot's gonna tuck in. Inhale, see if we can lift and hold. Low pistol spot, roll back for two, see if we can shift off. It's okay if we can't get off the butt, just try. Inhale, exhale, lift. Now to both feet, malasana or little yogi squat. Hips up, hips up. One more time, inhale, exhale, squat. Nice job, let's just stretch here. Use the block to pry the knees apart. You can do this little waddle shape where you're swinging onto one heel, drawing the knee in. Swinging the heel up, let's place the block down. And then just kind of shift your hips, settle back down. Let's head circle through the neck. Other way, circle through the neck. Let's expand one arm. If this is really uncomfortable, you can always sit up on a block, on the block. Good. Bring one shoulder to knee and then spiral open. If you feel like you want to take a bind here, we could take the hand wrap it around the knee, and then the back hand reaches behind, maybe your fingers meet. Big breath in and out. If you'd like, you could try to wiggle that bottom leg out, and then step it in. Other side, shoulder to inside of knee, spin the body open, stay here, or maybe work on a bind, spinning the hand down around the leg and the upper hand behind the back maybe the fingers meet breathe here <sighs> we could try to wiggle that foot out a little skandasana maybe lower and lift walk the foot in bring the hands down drop the head hips up forward fold swing sway breathe Grab your opposite elbow. Grab the hands into a bind behind the neck. Let gravity 
pull the head, feeling a little space, a little more space in the neck, in the spine, in the hamstrings. Swivel the elbows forward, forward. You can do this with bent knees. And come back. We're gonna slowly take a rag doll up and then kind of gather up by just pulsing as you roll up, engaging the core, and then spin the shoulders back. Ooh, taking your bow, lift the arms up, and this feels really good to flush out through the spine. Bounce and lift, cactus heart to sky, flush. We'll do that one more time. Cactus, maybe a back bend, and then flush it out. <sighs> Thank you so much for joining me. Please don't forget to subscribe to my channel, give this a thumbs up, and please leave me a comment so I know you were here. I always take requests as well. If there's any class you want to see from me, any yoga tutorials or ideas with props, I'm open. Thanks so much. I'll see you next time. Bye.